Hello, my name is Isabel Gallegos, and this is my art critic video. Art can be seen in many different forms. It could be abstract, contemporary, conceptual, visual, and the list goes on. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on two different photographs of the same person, but they are taken by two different photographers. The first one is by Andy Warhol, and the second one is by Rena Small. Andy Warhol was born August 6th, 1928 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He was the youngest of three boys and came from two Eastern Slovakian working class parents. Growing up, Andy suffered from a neurological disorder known as the St. Vitus Dance, which caused him to have involuntary movements. This had kept him from attending school regularly. So in the meantime, he was able to explore magazines and play with paper cutouts. Due to his family's financial status, he was not able to be spoiled like most kids in America. So when he was eight years old, his parents bought him his first camera. From then on, he was able to find his passion and he later became a well-renowned artist some might know him as Cam the Campbell Soup Guy or from hanging out with another very popular artist, John Michael Basquiat. That's where this image comes into play. Basquiat was an abstract slash contemporary artist who had started his career with street art. His pieces on canvas were made with oil paint and spray paints. He would also overlap and create layers with his art otherwise known as texture. Basquiat was born in 1960 to a Haitian father and a Puerto Rican mother. Basquiat had also spent his childhood making art. Though he was never formally taught how to draw or create art, he still captured amazing pieces. When he was very young, he had unfortunately been hit by a car. So while he was in the hospital bed healing, his mom had bought him an anatomy book. That is what sparked his amazing pieces later on in his life that would cause Andy Warhol to be interested in him. This portrait right here was called Portrait of John Michael Basquiat and was taken in 1892. I'm sorry, 1982. If you look really close, you can see that it was a Polaroid picture. What makes this image so unique is that the photo almost looks perfect. Polaroids are not as precise as digital cameras because they lack some camera features and presets. This image was taken in 1982, which is around the time Andy Warhol was already finishing up his career. So to have Andy take a picture of Basquiat was an iconic moment because it was a stepping stone to their friendship and to all of their arts that they collaborated with. Andy would take pictures and Basquiat would draw over them and they would create masterpieces. The next image I'm going to be talking about is titled John Michael Basquiat and it was by Rena Small. Rena was born 1954 in America. She had also known Andy Warhol and John Michael Basquiat when they had their friendship. In this image, you can see the hands of the artist Basquiat with a cloth wrapped around his thumb. Basquiat's area was all over the place with meaning all the way down the texture of the canvas. So in this image, you are able to have a close-up of his hands. There isn't much history found of Rena Small or hers and Basquiat's friendship, but looking at the image, you can see a dark background, which only gets the viewer to look at his hands. The hands of Basquiat were iconic and expensive. In my opinion, I think his hands were meant to represent his life, he grew up as a first generation kid and he had made a name for himself. These hands were able to create amazing contemporary pieces that would to this day capture art lovers' interests.
Thank you for watching my art critics video on Andy Warhol's Polaroid of John Michael Basquiat and Rena Small's John Michael Basquiat. You are able to learn a little bit about Andy Warhol, Rena Small, and of course, John Michael Basquiat. These pictures were not exactly paintings, but they were very iconic photographs of, well, of a well-known painter. Thank you for listening.